it's time for children's story. It's time for children's story. Let's give God all the glory. It's time for children's story. We come to sit and listen and hear a Bible lesson. Let's give God all the glory. It's time for children's story. Come and listen. Come and listen. Come and listen. It's time for children's story. Come and listen. Come and listen. Come and listen. It's time for children's story. Hi, boys and girls. This is the last story of the month. I'm so sad about that, but I'm glad that we had these adventures for the past few weeks. You know, today I'm going to be talking about gentleness, the story of Joseph. Gentleness is when you're um, calm and peaceful with other things. It's, it's like these geese, they're calm and peaceful. They're in the water, they, they are swimming in it so peacefully. So let's talk about gentleness. This is the story about a young man named Joseph. His father's name was Jacob, and they lived in Canaan from where his grandfather was from. Joseph was 17 years old, old enough to drive a car these days, and he had 11 brothers and only one brother younger than him. Can you imagine having 11 brothers to play with in, or fight with? Because Joseph was one of the youngest sons. His father spent more, of, more time with him and he became very special to him. So Jacob had a special robe made for Jacob, made for Joseph. They didn't have jackets back then. So this was a very special jacket. It was very beautiful and had every color you could even imagine in it. All of Joseph's older brothers saw this and they got very jealous. The, world, the word jealous means that Joseph's brothers disliked him because they thought his father liked him more. And because he got the special coat, they got so jealous that they couldn't even say a kind word to him. One day, Joseph had a dream, and he went to go tell his brothers. He said, guess what? Last night, I had a strange dream. We were, t we were tying up bunches of grain, wheat, out into the field, so when suddenly my, bu my bunch of grain stood up while all of yours gathered around and, bow and bowed to me. The brothers looked at each other in disgust, but Joseph continued. Then, I had another dream that the sun, moon, ants, and, and 11 stars bowed down to me. Who do you think you are? The brothers said. Do you really think that you are better than all of us? Do you think that we would bow to you? The, this made the brothers even more um, jealous of J um, Joseph. When he told his father about his dreams he said those are strange dreams but he thought carefully about what Jacob had Joseph had told him a few days later Joseph's father asked him to to check on his brothers they were in the fields quite quite in a, a distance away so Joseph went to find them when when the when the brothers saw Joseph in the fe in the distance they made a plan to kill him. But when Reuben, Joseph's oldest brother, heard this, he said, let's not kill him. Just throw him in the well and, and out here in this field, he said, because he was secretly planning to come back and rescue Joseph when the brothers were not there. So when Joseph came to them, they took off his, his beautiful robe and they threw him into an empty well. A little while later, a group of people came by that were, want, that were wanting to sell some things from in Egypt. One of the brothers spoke up, why don't we sell him to those people? This way, we never have to see him again, and we don't have to kill him. The other brothers liked the idea, 
So they sold him to the people who were going to Egypt. Unfortunately, Reuben had been working and hadn't seen what happened. When he returned to the well, he noticed that Joseph was no longer there. He had been sold to an, old, to an important man named Potiphar, an assistant to the Pharaoh, king of Egypt. The, the rest of them, the rest of the brothers took Joseph's beautiful robe and dipped it in animal blood and took it back to their father. When the father saw this, he cried, some animal has killed my son. And he cried for many days, so much that nobody could comfort him. Now Joseph had started out as a slave, but the Lord was with Joseph and he helped him do everything right. So Potiphar made him his helper and put him in charge of everything that he, that he owned. The problem came when, when Potiphar's wife lied about Joseph to her husband, so Potiphar had Joseph put into a jail. The Lord was still with Joseph in jail, and the warden, the police officer, watcher, put Joseph in charge of all of the prisoners. He never worried because the Lord was with Joseph and he helped him do everything right. After Joseph had been in jail for some time, a cupbearer and a baker um, to Pharaoh had been sent there. One night each of them had a dream. They told their dreams to Joseph and he told them, the cupbearer, that he would soon be let out of jail. Please tell Pharaoh about me and ask him to get me out of here, Joseph said. When the cupbearer was finally freed, he forgot about what Joseph had did. So Joseph stayed in jail for two more years until one day the Pharaoh had a dream and nobody could explain it to him. The cupbearer then remembered Joseph and what he did for him, and Joseph was brought to the, to the Pharaoh. Can you understand dreams? Pharaoh asked. I can't, but God helps me, Joseph replied. After Pharaoh had told him his dreams, Joseph explained, and Joseph explained, God is warning you, there will be seven years when nothing will grow, and there won't be any food or anyone for anyone. What can I do? Pharaoh asked. God has shown you what to do. There will be seven years before the bad things happen. That will be very good. So good then, then there would be um, grain, wheat to grow. You need to um, harvest it and keep it um, in storage until the bad years to give it to the people, Joseph said. Pharaoh believed all that Joseph had told him and put him in charge of all of the land of Egypt. People came from all over all countries to buy um, wheat from Joseph because the whole world was in need of food. Some of those people were, were Joseph's um, brothers. When his brothers came, Joseph recognized them, but they did not know who he was. It had been over 10 years since they had seen him. The brothers all bowed to him because he was an important person, just as he dreamed they would at the beginning. After a few meetings with the brothers, he, he could not keep it in any longer. And Joseph said to his brothers, I am Joseph, is my father alive? but his brothers couldn't answer him because they were afraid. Then Joseph said, come here, I am your brother, the one you sold. Do not worry and do not be angry at yourselves for, what, for selling me, because God has put me here to save people from starving. So his father and brothers and their families came to live in Egypt with Joseph and they and they had the, all the food they needed. So kids, as this is the last story, 
let's just pray about how, how God has helped me show you guys and tell you guys the stories about all the fruits of, spirit, of the Spirit. Dear God, thank you for this day. Thank you that you woke me up this morning to tell these kids the stories of the fruits of the Spirit. Lord, please help these stories come into their hearts and please help these kids to let you into their hearts as well. Lord, I pray that you will help us follow these fruits of the Spirit. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Bye kids, I had so much fun with you guys.